Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. As always, these items were sent to me for review, but the opinions are my own. If you check out the description box below, you will find a link to the website. And if you do take uh, download the app, you get more rewards through their app. But you also get 30% off on your first order. Always free shipping and free returns. So just want to show you what I got. So we're going to start off with number one. It is a water fountain for Wellington. And I think he's going to like it. You obviously fill this with water. You have a little filter that will catch any debris that gets in here before it gets down here to back to the reservoir. And it runs like a faucet. And let me tell you, my boy loves drinking out of the faucet. So I'm hoping he likes this a little better. Um, it does have a cord. It all comes apart to clean. So yeah, I got him a cat waterer. It comes in a box like this. Um, that is one thing I will tell you. Some of the boxes do come a little bent up. So if you're doing gift for gifts and stuff, just kind of beware of that. Like this kind of came a little bent up. And the product is, the products are perfectly fine. We need some coffee, guys. Mm. Okay. Then I ordered a set of three embroidery hoops. Now I don't, I don't cross stitch on a hoop. But I do like to finish product projects sometimes in a hoop, in the wooden hoops to be specific, because I can paint these. They also, I need to get online and find it. The woman makes, it's a stand, so you can finish something in a hoop, and then there's a stand that you just set it up in. So I really like that. Um, but you can use these for cross stitch. I don't, you know, I don't know if I would. Um, there's like where the pieces are seamed together here, there is, it's a rough spot. So I think it would pull on your project while you're working on it. I don't know if that's on all of them or if just this one. I would just say be, be conscious of the issue. So they have, this is where they have nailed it together. But as far as finishing goes, you're fine. Because once you put it in here, you put it in here and it just stays. So I thought this would be something fun to do to try and um, finish some of my projects. And by finish, I mean like you finish them. So I, they're finished, but they're not finished. That <laughs> Fully finished. <laughs> my hair is a disaster. I can't help it. It's the weather. Um, I'll save these. Let me put this stuff down here. So I got at the Dollar Tree, um, some of the Dollar Tree Plus. I got some resin to try. So I purchased, I have learned guys, keep the scissors handy, which I ruined these scissors, but this is just a little flower. And I thought this would make a fantastically cute little glittery, um, maybe a stitch marker or a button or something, but you can make four. You can put chocolate in here too if it's food quality. I don't know that answer, but um, it's silicone. So you put your whatever in here, let it dry, bake, clear, whatever, and then you can just pop it out. So I grabbed one of these and then I picked up, I just got one of these. I think the two, the two pack was out of stock when I went to order. But this is for a coaster, same thing. So I can fill this with the resin and put the glitter and everything in here and let it sit up for 24 hours, pop it out. And then I have a coaster. And I wanna try the Dollar Tree stuff. I just didn't have any molds to use with resin and they didn't have any at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed these. So I thought, well, here's a good first time try for us for that project. And this is a very small order over here. Now let's see what's in this doodaddy over here. This is one thing I do with these Timu bags is I store all my little stuff for my video. Oh, I also, I'll show you that in a second. Um, I think this is good, let's see. Yes, okay. I got some UV resin. Also, so this is odorless, fast drying, crystal clear, yellow resistant, shrink resistant, UV. And I don't know if this is the thin or thick. It just says 
two to four minutes under a UV lamp or in the sun for five to 10 minutes, up to 40 minutes on a cloudy day, curing less than five millimeter thickness. Um, oh, this is the thick type. So what you do with this resin is you use it to coat things, I'm assuming. I'll do a video, but, and then you put it under UV light to cure it, where the other resin for this sets up in like 24 hours, where you don't need UV light. So I did get some UV resin for a different project. Guys, I have so many projects on my brain and I have so little time to do anything. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Now, I got, for Sarah and I, let me see what's happening here. Okay, I got us, and they sent me, they, they send me extra stuff sometimes of the same thing that I ordered, which I'm not complaining. But these are flags. So if you're reading or marking your calendar, or if you have a planner with this, with the one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, but these is, this is what I wanted. These are like plastic flags, but look at those colors. I love it. And um, Sarah uses these when she reads her books to mark things. I use them in my planner to highlight different days of the week. And they're only, here, I'll pull one off. They're just a half tab. So they're only sticky. Like it's not sticky here. It's only sticky here. So you can have it hanging out of your book. They sell these at the Dollar Tree and I get them for her pretty regularly there. But when I saw them for 88 cents with this super fun colors, I said, well, we need those, duh. So I ordered one or two and they sent me more than that. But they're all the same. I think they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same color. So I will share these with friends who also like to flag things. Um, and then for Sarah, I got her these, which are highlighter strips. So like if you're reading a book or something, you just lay this down over it and it highlights the whole thing and it doesn't get wet and goofy and it can be removed and moved. So these are, well, I don't know how many you get. Doesn't say, but a lot. There's a lot in here, but yeah, you just use them as like a highlighter, but they're, they're sticky. So you pull one off and stick it like you're highlighting a book. So I grabbed those. Um, I did get a couple pair of new scissors. I think these are more for crafting than cross stitching. I thought they were going to be smaller than what they are, which is fine because, um, like that is a nice scissor. Oh. I don't know how it snips. Let's find something to snip. Ooh, that's a nice scissor. I could use that for floss or sewing or whatever. The brand, I don't know what the brand is, but that's what they look like. And these are supposed to be, I think like dragons. But what was important to me was the quality. And these are nice scissors, guys. Let me tell you. That is a nice scissor for like $3 and something. So I grabbed those because I go through scissors a lot opening packages. But I think this will be more for crafting like fabric stuff. We're not going to ruin those. So I got that. And then the last things I got are... These, they're die cuts for a machine that I will haul later, but it's like a Sizzix. You put this down, you put some craft paper, like cardstock or um, scrapbook paper, and then you crank it through the machine and it will cut out a forest for me. So I need to get some birch, but I don't know if this is too big for the machine I got. I'm not sure. But anyway, I grabbed, I have several of these. Coming up, and this is a decent price. They also sell these at the Dollar Tree, which is why I'm glad I got the little machine because I can just try those out as well now from the Dollar Tree. But they're just a die is what they're called. So I grabbed one of those. Um, Sarah and I are taking pottery. 
I think I've told you. And we bought our kit, but this comes with a couple extra different things. Like this is how to poke a hole if you want to make a, um, like a planter or something, or you want to make a piece of jewelry. You can take that little awl and like screw it in and make yourself a, a little hole. So these are some different tools than what I was given in the kit that I purchased. I do know that this little fan looking one here is what you'll use to scrape if you're gonna add things to each other. So I thought this was fantastic. And I ended up getting two sets, one for me and one for Sarah. Cause we have, at this point in our pottery life, pottery game, we have to have our own tools. And then the next level we'll have to purchase our own clay. Where's that? So there's that. Um, I bought some fabric. I get questions about the fabric situation. And I'm going to tell you, I don't, it's not for me. How about that? That's a nice way to say it, right? Um, like this fabric here is, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's organza. So it's not a cotton fabric and it's a very small piece. Um, the same thing with that. Like, it's super pretty, and I'm sure I can figure out something to do. But this is this is not, like, quilter's cotton or anything like that. So you get, like, your polka dot. Oh, look at this one. I mean, I'll figure out something to do with this, but look at the strawberries. But I don't, I, I don't know what we're making out of something this sheer in this size. That's all I'm saying. So I got that... <laughs> that kit and then I picked uh this one in pink so I like pink and like everything pictures definitely don't always tell the full story and I don't think this is terrible fabric by any stretch and I will probably use this for backing cross stitches when I make cute little Easter things because that is adorable but this is like a 10 by 10 square. So there's not a whole lot I can do other than using this as backing. But you get like um, different, different fabric pieces and they're all different. It's a little thin, but this was actually better quality than the last time I tried it. But look at that. So if I had some Easter some things that I wanted to back, like it's pretty and this is not terrible. It's not quilt quality. Like you're not getting this from a quilt store. You're getting this maybe like a, a Dollar Tree. I would say it's equivalent to the Dollar Tree fabrics, which I have sewn with and they're fine. Just a different quality, but isn't that adorable? So I now have a pack of 10 by 10s that I can make, you know, use to back ornaments or something. Crafty, you know. But I wanted to give it a fair shake, a fair shake down. And then this piece is pretty big, if I'm seeing it properly, and it's heavy. This is the issue that I have with some of this fabric, is that it's, well, this is just weird. Um, this is a very bizarre cut of fabric. It's not, it's not, the gold is stamped on. But like, this is pretty. It's just a very bizarre cut. Like, again, it's it's a weird measurement, but it's pretty, and I love purple. So we'll find something to, I have fun to do with this. What, I don't know, it's not bad quality. I'm gonna say that. This is not, it's nice and thick. Definitely better than the, uh, the last time I ordered fabric, which is nice to know because, you know, we need to know these things. So that's fun. So I grabbed fabric. Um, I ordered and I didn't get it. And I need to message them. Because I ordered a... Hold on, I'm pulling this out. This set here. It's not in there. Okay, so I ordered a wax stamp. I wanted to try stamping wax. And this is all different colors of wax cubes. 
So let me just pull out a piece and show you how fun is this. So, and you can mix and match your colors, but this is a cube of wax. And so it comes with a little spoon. You put it in here and you melt it. And you can do multiple colors. And then you pour it onto your letter if you're gonna mail something or whatever. And then you stamp it with a metal stamp. And like you could do your initials. This is a very rudimentary set. You would just light a tea light and hold this to melt it. There's better, like more fancy ones, but I just wanted to try it. Um, but this is all the different colors of wax melts you get. And I'm not sure how many, how many circles of wax makes a seal. Like maybe you need two. I, I don't know. So I thought this was super pretty and I'm like, I'm here for this whole metallic row right here. And then this greens. Oh, they're so pretty. So pretty. And it's just little, it's just little discs of wax that you melt and then you do the seal. So if I ever get the seal, the wax seals, I will do a, a demonstration when I learn how to do it. You can also pour it onto a silicone mat and then make your your rounds and then affix them to something if you want. Like glue them on to a letter or whatever. You don't have to do it on paper. But I thought that was fun and I am obsessed with that. And I got this drone to try, I think. Or I'm going to give it to somebody to try. But it's a foldable drone and it's supposed to take pictures. Which is why I want to take it out especially in the fall and try to see what quality of pictures I get because I'm pretty sure it takes pictures with my camera. So whatever quality my phone is should be the quality, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but this is definitely not on the more expensive, but I thought it would just be fun. I did get the one that comes with two batteries. So I would get like an hour's worth of continuous flight time, bringing it back in to change the battery. Uh, but I need to learn the rules of flying a drone because there's places like near the airport and things like that you're not allowed to fly. So I need to figure out that and then I'm going to take it out and play with it. So I got a drone. thought that would be fun. And the last thing in this batch is paint pens. Which I'm kind of excited about. And I think... I gotta open this up. I should have done that beforehand. Here we go. Um, I, you can use, these are oil based. Are these oil based? Yes, these are oil based paint markers. And from what I saw, you can paint um, rocks. I know. Also paint on wood, like the Dollar Tree wooden ornaments. You can paint, I love, I love a paint marker. Oh, they're not open, but yeah, they're just a paint pen. So you shake them up and then you press it and that paint comes and then there's, you paint with them. I mean, they're an oil-based paint marker. So the colors, this one came with 12 colors. They are a permanent paint pen. This is a 12 pack. Shows you how to use it. Cleanup is not easy because it's oil-based, but you just careful. So that's the colors that come in here. And I love doing this, especially on like ornaments and stuff. And then this is the same idea, different brand, and it's a 20 pack. So we're gonna have some fun doing something with paint markers. I don't, I don't know what, and I don't know when, but I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. The problem is, again, I have more ideas than I have time guys unfortunately I had a couple snarky comments um that this woman had only joined the channel because of the crafting and I'm like I I'm sorry I'm trying I'm trying to give you free content lady so I do apologize um it's just hard for me with my full-time job Anyway, so this is a florid paint marker, and this is just a different, more different colors, which is, oh, look at that purple. I don't, it's weird that they have some of them upside down. I'm not sure why, but let's turn them over. I would sh demonstrate these for you, but they're all individually wrapped, and I don't, ooh, I don't feel like 
I need to sit here and waste your time unwrapping them all. Um, I will tell you, the Dollar Tree has paint markers, and especially around Christmas time, they come out in black, white, and gold and silver for sure. And I use them pretty regularly at the holidays. Okay. Oh, I know why they had them in there, some upside down and some right side. They don't quite fit. But those are all the colors. Look at that neon. You get some different golds and bronzes and purples. Now, if I were to store these after I open them, I store them upside down. It's just how I do it. I don't know if that's the right way or not. But, like, look at that gold. And they're great for all kinds of crafting. So, I'm super excited. Oh, I have a white. Yeah, so if you see them at the Dollar Tree, they are really fun to like paint something a solid color and then you can just go back and accent everything. Just make sure you shake it really good and then you press it until the ink comes out, till the paint comes out at the bottom. So that is everything in this haul that I got from Timu. Um, again, everything is in the description box below and I do hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.